In this example, we are going to discuss a distance problem, solving this problem by using a system of two equations, two variables, and by the process of elimination or substitution, but usually elimination. It states a boat travels 18 hours upstream and 12 hours downstream for 120 miles in a local stream of water. What is the rate of the boat in still water and the rate of the current? And if needed, we can round our answer to two decimal places. So we have to think about here um, what this looks like. So here I drew a little picture of a boat going downstream and upstream. Here's the current, the red arrows going to the left. So upstream would mean that the boat would be going against the current and the boat wouldn't have a push against itself and essentially going slower. And that's why I wrote slower right underneath the arrow going to the right. Going downstream means that the boat is going with the current and it's given a little push to go a little faster. So here, since the boat is going with the current, we'll notice the boat will be going a little faster. So let's go ahead and let the rate R be the rate of the boat in still water and C be the rate of the current. Since this is giving us time, distance, they want us to find rate, we're going to go ahead and use the formula rate times time equals distance. And what we can do is draw a table to organize our information and then build our system of equations. So here I went ahead and drew a table and it's four columns, two, three rows, and the second column is the rate, third column is the time, and the last one is the distance. So we can easily just see it'll be rate times time equals distance. The first row is upstream, and the second row is downstream. So we do know the times for each of these. The time in which the boat spent going upstream was 18 hours, and the time in which the boat went downstream was 12 hours. The distance each boat went was 120, so that was the same for both because going upstream you went a little slower, that's why it took a little more time to get to do the same distance as if you went downstream. So since going upstream when the boat went slower because it was going against the current, the boat was moving at a rate in which it would go in still water, but a little bit slower, meaning minus the rate of the current. Similarly for downstream, since it was going, the boat was going with the current, it was going a little faster, and so the boat was traveling the rate it would be in still water, but with a little push of the current, meaning plus the rate of the current. And so if we multiply across, we could see that we had R minus C times 18 equal to 120, and R plus C times 12 equals 120. So this first equation is the equation for going upstream, and the second equation is the equation for going downstream. So if I wrote this a little nicer as a system of two equations, two variables, as we're used to seeing, I could distribute the 18 to each inside the parentheses and the 12 in the second equation inside the parentheses. And I would get 18R minus 18C equals 120. And then I would get in the second equation 12R plus 12C equals 120. 
So I, you can see now I have a system of two equations, two variables. I can easily solve this by the method of substitution or elimination. We'll go ahead and use elimination, also known as the addition method. And what we need is to pick a variable and make sure that the coefficient of the variable has the same coefficient but opposite sign. So I'm going to go ahead and pick C to eliminate. And I'm going to rewrite these coefficients with the same coefficient but opposite sign. So I have to find the lowest common multiple between the two. Notice the opposite signs are already there. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply the top one by 2 because I can see that the lowest common multiple between 18 and 12 is 36. So this means I would have to multiply the second equation by 3. All right. So rewriting this, I would have 36R minus 36C equals 240. My second equation would be 36R plus 36C equals 360. And now I can clearly see that I have now the same coefficient of C but opposite signs. And now I add. So I can go ahead and add the two equations together. 36R plus 36R is 72R. Minus 36C plus 36C, those cancel as I wanted. Equals 240 plus 360, which is 600. Dividing each side by 72, R is equal to 25 thirds, or otherwise, if I round to two decimal places as it states in the directions, 8.33. Since the rate of the boat in still water is 8.33 miles per hour, I can easily find the rate of the current by plugging this value r back into one of the equations and solving for c. So I'll go ahead and use the second equation and solve for C. So if I let R be equal to 8.33, this means that 12 times 8.33 plus 12C equal to 120. So first let me multiply 12 times 8.33. which is 99.96 plus 12C equals 120. Subtracting 99.96 from each side, I get 12C equals 20.04, and therefore C would be 1.67. And therefore, we could say that the rate of the boat in still water is 8.33 miles per hour, and the rate of the current is 1.67 miles per hour.